Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, I'll show you how to apply account lockout settings using group policy to secure your environment in Windows Server 2019. Active Directory supports one set of password and lockout policies for a domain. These policies are configured in a GPU that is scoped to a domain. A new domain contains a GPU called default domain policy that is linked to a domain and includes the default policy settings for password, account lockout and a Kerberos policy. That means if we want to modify the account lockout settings for that, we need to change the settings by editing the default domain policy and which is not recommended at all. In Windows Server, solution is also there that is known as a fine green password and a lockout policy. So in the next video, we'll see find green password and lockout policy to overcome this problem of one settings only. But for this demonstration, we are going to edit the default domain policy. So first of all, I'm going to open group policy management console. Here we have our default domain policy. Let's select it, right click on it and go for the edit. It is computer based policy, so we need to expand policies under computer configuration. We need to expand windows settings and uh, we need to expand security settings. Under security settings, you can see account policies will be there. So these policies are there, password policy, account lockout policy and Kerberos policy. We are going to set account lockout policy and here we have a total of three settings. The first one which I'm going to set is account lockout threshold. How many invalid logon attempt will cause a account lockout? So let's double click on it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to set three invalid logon attempts. So you can use this number as per your requirement. So account will lock out after three invalid logon attempts. Click on apply. And here some default settings will be there. It is saying us that suggested values will be there. We are going with it. So let's click on OK and click on OK. So what that exactly means? Here the first one is there. Account lockout duration. Account lockout duration means this setting specifies the number of minute an account is locked before automatically being unlocked by the system. If this value is set to zero. That means the account will lock until an administrator manually unlocks the account and that we want. So I'm going to change this value from 30 to zero. Say here you can see the message is there. Account is locked out until administrator unlocks it. Uh, if you want more information, you can read on the explain tab. Okay. The possible values will be from zero minute to 99,999 minutes. That is the maximum value which you can use. Let's click on apply and OK. Now here we have a, another setting. Reset account lockout counter after how many minutes? The default setting is 30 minutes. So what exactly that means? In short, this means within a 30 minutes, if you try three invalid logon attempt, that will cause account lockout. After 30 minutes, those counter will be reset. So again, zero invalid logon attempts will be there. Fine. So we are going with this settings. Account lockout duration will be zero. That means administrator will manually unlock that account. The second one, three invalid account will cause account lockout and the counter will be reset after 30 minutes. Fine. We can do the same settings for password policy as well. But that we are not going to do here. We'll uh, see all those things in a next video because we want to use password policy using fine grain policy. Let's close this uh, management editor console and the policy is already in place to our domain. It is already linked to our mylab.local domain. So I'm going to minimize this and uh, I'm going to update the policy manually by running command gp update. Okay, as you can see, computer base and user base policy has been updated successfully. To test this, uh, let me open Active Directory users and computers. And here we have a one user name 
tech dot sub one that is our tech support one user account and we will use our Windows 10 computer. Let's try to log in as a tech support one, but we are going to use a wrong password. First attempt, second attempt, third attempt. And here we go. Here you can uh, see the message is there that account is currently locked out and may not be logged on to. So due to that policy that which we have configured earlier, due to three invalid logon attempt, this account is currently locked out. We can check the same thing on our Active Directory Users and Computer Console. If we double click on our user account and if we click on account tab, here you can see unlock account options is there this account is currently locked out on this active directory to main controller so if you want that your user can log on to that client computer that time administrator has to manually unlock this account click on apply and click on ok if you again double click on it and if you click on account tab that options will be not there so now that user can log on to that Windows 10 computer because now that user account is not locked out. So this is the way how we can configure account lockout policy in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory domain. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.